Hello, it's your boy JD Greer, and I am here to bring you a tutorial in Audition on how to do audio decking manually instead of using the audio decking that's built into the Audition software. I prefer to use the manual way because it gives you more flexibility on your audio ducking. And what audio ducking is, is it will take your music and it will duck that underneath your vocal track or whatever it is that you want to have ducked. It doesn't matter what it is. You can duck it. It will use a compressor. It will compress the sound lower underneath your audio and it will release it and it will come back to the desired sound that you have. So in this case, I've already uploaded the music and a vocal tutorial for you to listen to um, to demonstrate how ducking sounds. And what we're going to do is, first off, there is another way, like I said, method here in Audition. If you click on music, your music track, and you'll go to a central sound panel, click on music, and you'll see right here a little section where it says audio ducking, click that. We're not going to use this one, but you do have some flexibility like sensitivity. You can see that here, ducking amount, fade, you know, du duration, and other, and so on and so forth. Um, we're going to do it a different way. And so here it is in, in, in my world. Since I love audio, it's called side chaining. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to click track one. And we're going to come over here and I already have it loaded up for you. Dynamic processing. But how you get to dynamic processing is you're going to click right here and you're going to click to amplitude and compression. You're going to come down and find your dynamic processor. So we're going to click that and bring it up. I'll come here and click mine and bring it up. We're going to click that and bring it up. And we're going to come to this button right here that I already have green. This is your side chain button. You want to activate this button here. So we're going to click it. Boom. We're going to click that button. It will turn green for you. And we want to select mono because when we're doing anything speaking, generally, we are going to record in mono. So we want to have mono selected. We select that. We're going to come here to presets. I already have negative 24 dB soft limit. Um preset on here and that's what we're going to do we're going to click here and we're going to come all the way down to negative soft 24 db you can try other ones it's up to you but i prefer to come down here and start a little lower and we have flexibility to move it around where we want to after we get to going on ducking our audio as you can see there's different areas we can make different key key points and and have more flexibility so we're going to click this off the next step after you put your dynamic processing on your music track for in this case we're going to come down to track number two. I'm going to activate track two. As you see, it uh, looks like track one, but instead we're going to come over here. And if you click the FX effect, uh, FX, you can see that, you know, you have access and I already have a, some stuff I'm going to explain to you later. You can see what's on the track. But also, uh, if you don't want all these extra tracks here, if you hit shift and E, and you want to get rid of empty used tracks that are just taking up space, hit shift E, boom. It's gone. Now we just have the two tracks to work with and we can kind of see what we're doing better. So we want to come over here and we want to click on sends. Click on your sends and come down to track number two. As you can see in mine, it already says dynamic processing, but yours is going to say none like it does in track number one. We're going to click on dynamic, proce dynamic processing. Come over. You'll see where it says none, add bus and sidechain. Go to sidechain and click dynamic process. What that does is it sends track two to track number one through that compressor and it will bring that vocal and make that vocal sit on top of your music. So that's what's gonna happen. We're gonna give you a little demonstration really quick uh, what that's gonna sound like. Here you go. It's your boy JD Greer and you're rocking right here on 93.5 KWDC Stockton Delta College Radio. Boom. As you can see, the audio is ducking below the music and it's coming back up after the um, I'm done speaking, which is called your release, attack and release. So we have that activated right there. Um, and one thing you do not want to do, at least in my opinion, is you don't want to have a lot of space between your talking. You want to have a nice steady flow when you're talking. So that way the music does not come back up if you don't want it to. I'll show you what that sounds like if you're just going to, if you're going to talk and leave a lot of space because then it's going to sound like you're on a musical roller coaster. And sometimes that just, it doesn't sound good. So here, this is, that's my opinion, but here you go. I'm going to show you. Hello, it's your boy JD Greer. And you're rocking with 93.5. KWDC Stockton. 
So as you can see, the music comes up and down and, you know, it kind of rides like a little roller coaster. So again, let's recap what we're going to do just so you know one more time. We're going to have our music on. And by the way, let me show you something, too. Whenever you bring a music track in, um, generally it's going to be kind of loud. So you want to, you know, bring it down a few dB. So that way you give yourself a, a little room to um, to play around for when you're mixing and stuff like that. And then you're not going to have to deal with uh, your sound um, clipping and things like that. And, you know, you get distorted sound and otherwise. And you can do the same thing, too, with your with your uh, with your audio track as well. You can bring that down just a couple dB so you can give yourself some headroom. Generally, you general generally you want your you know everything to be right in this area here. Once you once you get up to where your audio is playing, once you get it up here, then you know you can have the clipping. So well, you need to keep that in mind. So let's also remember we're going to come down here to track two. We want to make sure that we put our KWDC equalizer on, and I will show you what that looks like. This is our KWDC equalizer. You can see what that looks like. I have it saved. This is how you save right here. You click save. I have it right here in my preset. So I slide down, I hit KWDC and that is saved. And the same thing with my compressor. We want to put your compressor on. Mine is also KWDC standard. You can look at it here. Um, take a screenshot if you like. And, you know, I have it saved again right here. KWDC, DC, put it right there. Save, click, boom, you're good to go. And don't forget, you want to put a hard limiter on for audio. It's going to be negative 3 dB right here. That's what I have mine on. And for video, you're going to limit it to negative 6 dB. That's the standard. So to recap one more time, we're going to go over dynamic processing. Click on dynamic processing. Click your green button right here. You're going to turn that green. You're going to select mono. You're going to come over here. You're going to come down and you're going to select negative 24 dB. You get to slide it up and down if you like, no matter what you choose, uh, whatever you choose that is. And it's going to it's gonna make it, you know, obviously the music in the back sound softer or louder, depending on what compression you're looking for. And then we're going to come over here to our track or excuse me, we're going to go up here to sends. Click on sends. Come down here. It should say none. When you do it, it says none here. And come down to side chain. Click on dynamic processing. And boom, you are done. You have just completed audio ducking. And we can listen one more time to see what it sounds like. Let's check it out one more time. It's your boy, J.D. Greer, and you're rocking right here on 93.5 KWDC Stockton, Delta College Radio. And here's the one that I don't like. Hello. It's your boy, J.D. Greer. And you're rocking with 93.5 KWDC Stockton. All right, guys, we're out. That's J.D. Greer's tutorial on audio ducking. Enjoy your day and enjoy your semester at 93.5 KWDC Digital Media, baby.